I got this week in social media a, uh, something that I thought I'll share about a coffee in the morning. We, how do we make a coffee? Many ways. Basically, hot water, bitter coffee, some added sweetener, and some cold cream or milk, and then we hope for a good day, and before drinking the coffee, we say, Baruch Ato Hashem, blessed are you Hashem, our God, the King of the universe, Shehakel Niyo Bidvore, everything is, in, was made and is in, but goes and follows your word in the hands of Hashem. That's the coffee of the morning. Pasha of this week is when Avram, Abraham, our forefather, is 75 years old, went through a lot in life, self-sacrifice, was thrown into fire because his belief in one God, and on and on, but the Torah does not elaborate on that story and the first 75 years of his life, where the life of Avraham begins in the written Torah is about when he's 75 years old and Hashem tells him, leave behind everything of the past and now go to the unknown land that I will show you and I will guide you. Why is it that the Torah is choosing to start the story of Avraham at this stage and not before? And the Rebbe suggests the following thought, that the introduction to the giving of the Torah and to the Jewish people as the recipients of the Torah that Hashem has given us is leave behind all everything that is, that you built up everything that is built around you for 75 years and rely on Hashem. We start the day, we have no idea if it's going to be bitter, God forbid, sweet, hot, cold. We're in the hands of Hashem. That's what needs, that's what needs to guide our day. That's what is, the coffee that is needed in the morning in order to wake us up to the reality of Hashem running the world and us following in Hashem's footsteps, Baruch Ato Hashem, blessed are you Hashem, Shehakol Niya Bitvaro, everything is in your hands. I'm here to serve you rather than me making my plans and making the agenda. Good Shabbos. Good day and good week.